rational is the denominator of 1 by root 5 minus root 3 minus root 2. Now, how to do this? This is for 9th grade. What we will do? We will try to take this as my A and this is my B. And if I have something like 1 by A minus B, I will multiply with A plus B so that I can rationalize it, the denominator. If not possible, we will do one more round and we will see one more time rationalizing the denominator, then we should be able to get. So let's go ahead and when we are taking root 5 minus root 3 as A and root 2 as B, you are welcome to take root 5 as A and root 3 plus root 2 as B also. So you can have different options. Any option you pick, finally your answer will be the same only. Now we have to rationalize 1 by root 5 minus root 3. We are taking this as A. So I am writing minus root 2. Now we have A here and this is my A and this is my B. So I will be multiplying with A plus B by A plus B. So that will be root 5 minus root 3 plus root 2 divided by root 5 minus root 3 plus root 2. In the numerator, I don't have much complexity. I can write down as it is root 5 minus root 3 plus root 2. And when I come to the denominator, I have a square minus b square. What is a here? Root 5 minus root 3 whole square. That is my a square minus b square. That is root 2 whole square. Let's go to the next step. We will have root 5 minus root 3 plus root 2 divided by root 5 minus root 3 whole square. We can use the formula x minus y whole square. That will be x square plus y square minus 2xy. That is 2 root 15. Then minus root 2 whole square. That is equals to 2. So when I simplify, I will have root 5 minus root 3 plus root 2 divided by 5 plus 3 minus 2 minus 2 root 15 or can I say that is root 5 minus root 3 plus root 2 divided by 8 minus 2 is 6 6 minus 2 root 15 we have to do one more time rationalize the denominator so let's go ahead and do that so our next step will be root 5 minus root 3 plus root 2 divided by can we take 2 common then we have 3 minus root 15 now i want to rationalize still the denominator i have to do one more round so i'll multiply with 3 plus root 15 by 3 plus root 15 now when we simplify this we will have 3 into root 5 minus 3 into root 3 plus 3 into root 2 plus root 75 minus root 45 plus root 30 divided by 2 into a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square so we have 3 square minus root 15 whole square when we simplify this we will have 3 root 5 cannot be done anything 3 root 3 same case 3 root 2 no but root 75 can be written as 5 root 3 right because 75 is 5 into 5 into 3 when we take square root we have two fives so that will come out we'll have 5 root 3 so plus 5 root 3. Similarly, root 45 can be written as 3 root 5. Root 30, not sure we can write it anyway. We will leave it like that only. Divided by 2 into 3 square is 9. 
minus 15. Let's go to the next step. So we have 3 root 5, then we have minus 3 root 5. We can cancel them. Then we have 5 root 3 minus 3 root 3, that is 2 root 3. Then we have 3 root 2 plus root 30 divided by 2 into minus 6 that is minus 12 or can we say that is equals to minus of 2 root 3 plus 3 root 2 plus root 30 divided by 12 that will be the final answer follow the same problem by picking different a and b so what i will do this time is i'll write down 1 by root 5 minus of root 3 plus root 2 in this case my a is root 5 and b is root 3 plus root 2 so 1 by a minus b i need to multiply with a plus b so it will be root 5 plus root 3 plus root 2 divided by root 5 plus root 3 plus root 2. Now, numerator, we don't need to do much there. We can just write it down. Root 5 plus root 3 plus root 2. Coming to the denominator, we see a minus b into a plus b. We know that a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square. So, can I go ahead and write down root 5 whole square minus root 3 plus root 2 whole square that will be equals to root 5 plus root 3 plus root 2 divided by root 5 whole square is 5 minus of x plus y whole square or a plus b whole square formula if i do i'll have 3 plus 2 plus 2 root 6 hopefully you are okay with that that is a plus b whole square formula a square plus b square plus 2ab now when i simplify this i will have root 5 plus root 3 plus root 2 divided by 5 minus 3 minus 2 minus 2 root 6 now 5 and 5 will cancel i am left out with root 5 plus root 3 plus root 2 divided by minus 2 root 6 now i need to multiply this with root 6 so that i can rationalize the denominator so i'll go ahead and write down root 5 plus root 3 plus root 2 divided by minus 2 root 6 multiply with root 6 and root 6 to rationalize the denominator in the numerator we'll have root 30 plus root 18 plus root 12 divided by minus 12. Can we simplify that? Then it will become root 12 will be 2 root 3 and root 18 is 3 root 2 plus root 30 divided by minus 12. The same answer what we got earlier. So the point I want to stress is it doesn't matter what you are taking as a and what you are taking as b only the thing you have to understand is once you have taken a and b what is the sign between them if it is minus you multiply with a plus b both numerator and denominator if it is plus you multiply with a minus b both numerator and denominator so when we rationalize the denominator of 1 by root 5 minus root 3 minus root 2 the answer we got is minus of 2 root 3 plus 3 root 2 plus root 30 divided by 12. Now, we have rationalization of binomial like 1 by divided by a plus root b or root a plus root b. But the trinomial how to do? For that, we will go back and try to fit it into the whatever the method we know that we know that if it is a plus root b multiply with a minus root b it will become a square minus b that means we can rationalize the denominator the same process we are going to follow only the thing is we are going to pick our a and b and we are going to see what is the sign between them after that we will rationalize the denominator appropriately as needed